Uh, as I said, you know, he, he'd have them all up on these. Uh, he said, that's how you get the job done. <laughs> I said it's, it's, a, it's a matter of trust, and as I said, his, his pet peeve was um, was lies. You know, all through his life, would like to know the backstory in that. Why it was lies, or thing, Yeah. <laughs> Did he have something in his childhood or something? You know, uh, someone said to him, "Just the tip." <laughs> Did he get fucked in a, in the ass by as a, as a, a child or something? And with someone saying, "Just the tip." <laughs> and so therefore, you know, whenever he found a purposeful liar, he put a sword through him and looked them in the eyes, he did it. I mean, that's the, uh, that's what's been handed down to, uh, to us from history, sort of thing. But you see, where, wherever he went in his travels and his conquests, he got his, his people behind him to build all these great canals and things that some of them are still running today. <laughs> More than... 2,000 years later, uh, as I say, you know, the, we've got the Dalek church, and after 2,000 years, have you made poverty history yet? I don't think so. <laughs> uh, here's one of these funny ones, you see. This is what I was talking about. Some of these, it's not a, a true macro carp, you know, it's only a small thing, but if we go in, here we go with some of these old ones you can see they're a bit funny and chunky and uh, they're sort of oh small handy size sort of thing sort of thing but uh, a lot of them and they look weird don't they from a distance and uh, the the flowers on these ones are very colorful uh, yellows and red you know like the the flowers are yellow but the perculum and the surrounding um, cup is uh, all, all nice nice vivid red lip lipstick red sort of thing so um if we go back to so yeah uh, they're always talking about oh making poverty history and i'm saying well you've had two thousand years how's it going <laughs> and you go to some of these places and uh you know they've got most of the world's art and I'm thinking and they're making money out of the most of the, you know your art you know your <laughs> yeah i know it's sort of and they make you run to go and see it, you know, like it's only open for a quarter of the day and you've got to run down corridors to see it, sort of thing. <laughs> so you, you, you pay your money, you filthy lucre, sort of thing, and you have to run to see it for about half an hour or something, you know. Um, they're robbing you blind, basically. <laughs> and doing experiments on uh, people down in South America and things like that, you know. <laughs> Getting more citizens uh, <laughs> employed, you know, voluntary employees, uh, <laughs> slaves in other words. A bit like over in Ireland, they're, they're ma most people in Ireland are still waking up to the fact that they were in total servitude last century to the Dalek church. <laughs> they're only now starting to uh, separate themselves off from, uh, from Britain basically and uh, saying that no, we want autonomy now, we want to be a sovereign uh, country now, and, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Anyway, as I said, I wouldn't be surprised that Fort Knox doesn't have any gold in it, because as I said, with these uh, cruise missiles that I think came out during the, Thatch uh, the, the Thatcher years sort of thing, they started having these cruise missiles, I wonder whether that was the, the beginning of the vacuum bomb sort of thing. So you've got this cruise missile that can do an explosion of about one square mile sort of thing, as opposed to a true thermonuclear bomb, which is like 25 square miles of total devastation sort of thing. Yeah, on, on this area here, we'll have some glids and we'll have a few glids up there, but we might want to just walk through here, get some... Uh, and we walk across to the dog park next, I think, and uh, the, uh, they call it Snake Park over there because they're, uh, apparently there's a, uh, there's a hell of a load of snakes in there because there's a permanent water supply on the other side which you might get down to film. And of course, as you know, snakes hang around permanent water supplies because they know that their prey has to come down eventually to have a drink of water. And that's when they usually get them, sort of thing. So they get a nice uh, free, 
free free sort of thing. Uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah. So you, most of the snakes go dormant during uh, our wet sort of thing. So you don't have to worry about them really. But over there, I'm still going to keep my ears out. Make sure you're not walking on a stick that's really a snake. Turn around, turn around to pick up a... Uh, a stick that's really a snake to, to whack the uh, snake that's really a stick as my partner did in her childhood so she's absolutely absolutely paranoid about snakes because of that sort of thing and then I think it turned out to be a lizard or something I think that's what it was <laughs> uh, well that's the story anyway I think if I got it right if I remember correctly but uh, this will change somewhat as we go into uh, into the wet. See, there's patches of moss here which haven't even greened up yet. So, you know, if I go to Spot Cullen, see that? That will go totally nice, vivid green, dark green. Uh, yeah. So, anyway. Yeah, I think the Americans are eventually going to get to some sort of revolution and they're going to just say, you know... I saw this video of, and they, they put it in proportion about the, the, the number of citizens in America and who actually runs the show. You know, there's this size, this little pinprick uh, saying, oh, we want you to pay us some taxes or something and so we can represent you, but you don't do what we ask you to do. <laughs> it went on like that. It was very good showing the, the proportionality between the size of them and the number of you and the bonus thing is they've all got guns so they just have to walk on washing and say look you're gonna you bugger off or we'll send you to jesus by direct express post you know two thousand pound stamp yeah we'll drop a car on you basically <laughs> <laughs> That's my joke. It's one of my dad jokes. You see, a two thousand pound stamp. We just drop a car on you. Express post to Jesus for judgment. I think we've already judged them ourselves. Actually, yeah, judge and ye shall be judged. Uh, uh, well, that, they've judged you as, deplor as, as deplorable. So I think we've judged them that they shouldn't really exist on the planet anymore. You know, yeah. Most people, you know three score and ten so you know we're just going to speed up the process of the three score and ten you know it's just a bullet to the brain or something like that i mean <laughs> I, I don't know i you know what I, i'm waiting for the moment when uh, nancy pelosi is just picked up by a couple of burly men and just dragged out to the gallows or something i don't know whether they'll even do that they might just go up to her and just shoot her in the head or something like that you know when we find out what's really been going on in ukraine and uh, <laughs> Ah, uh, isn't it? Isn't it crazy? They're all talking about climate change, and yet they're all buying homes on the coast. <laughs> Hello, wakey, wakey, hand off, snakey. <laughs> and I, I'm looking at photographs of places in Australia from uh, old journals of 1915, and they, they're showing them today, and and the sea level hasn't changed one iota. <laughs> Oh, sea level rise <laughs> what so what well, i can't understand if that's true here how come we supposedly getting sea level rise in these other island um the only logical explanation i can think of is the islands are sinking the re the sea isn't rising the island must be sinking uh, <laughs> so uh, they're using these sinking islands as an, as an excuse for climate change <laughs> i don't know to rip the filthy lucre from you I don't know. Anyway, there is a walkway through here. I can walk through and we'll walk across into uh, down the side of the so-called snake part or dog part and uh, go on from there sort of thing. But uh, yeah, and said our, um, we're still running, a, our election is uh, basically, oh, first of, yeah. Hopefully it's picking up the yellow, right? Uh, this is one of the oxaluses. Um, we've had a number of encroach into the area. You know, we had the, the true oxalis commences, the pink one. Oh, this is the, yeah, this is the one. This is the one, I think. And uh, then we, uh, then they went all the way through to the, you see, here's the true oxalis commences, the true pink, as you can see there, the true pink. And, uh, oh. The old grannies out there want a close up, okay. Okay, close up for the old grannies. 
that there, so you can take your screenshot and do you take a screen and make an embroidery or something. There you go, Granny, so you can make yourself an embroidery or something out there. Colour tank on the RAA band. I'm just going to get this in my jacket and get the, the hand on it. Uh, there you go, put the jacket back on, even though it'll be hot, always hot. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, anyway, so we've got an election coming up next week, not this weekend, but next weekend. And uh, there, was a bit, there, seemed, there seemed to be a split now. We finally got some difference. Albo. Yeah. Oh. He said that uh, Yeah, we're a uh, Amanda Rishworth uh, uh, place. She's Labour, she's not green. This is a, hang on, let me go in for a close up. Oh. <laughs> 